Well, of course. Sure will. And it will show you some of its snow magic. And we'll have the most amazing holiday! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right! Blizzard has better things to do than entertain us. Hey! What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Let us just see who will be laughing tomorrow when we win the Christmas Cup. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Winners. <laughs> As if they could win, we will roll you guys into the ice. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Children, you should be ashamed. Don't fight. All right, Martins. Let's go home. We need a nice sleep before tomorrow's victory. Tig, Spike is right. We also need to rest. What about Blizzard? Come on, you guys. We'll be okay. Christmas winners. I now declare the Christmas tournament open. <laughs> <laughs> Let the cup go to the most worthy. Show them how it's done. The beavers don't stand a chance. We're playing to five points. <laughs> we are very cool. Beavers always rule. Every kid knows what I mean. <laughs> Beavers go, go, go. Score a go, go, go. Done, guys. Hooray! And the team that makes the final is Leo and Tiggs. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all, Spotty. But you won't get so lucky when playing us. <laughs> First, you gotta win the game against the Lemmings. Right. See you in the finals. <laughs> See you later. Take this! Uh, miss me? Uh, miss me again! Oh. Listen, why don't we go make our own snowman? That's right. That's right. When that blizzard will notice right away. Yeah, and then he'll show us snow magic. <laughs> <laughs>
play rather well. Yeah, if you're a runner-up. What's going on? Calm down. Let's run and see what's going on there. We still got time. What did you do that for, kid? We wanted to make a snowman for Blizzard so that we could see snow magic. If the snowball falls down, we won't see Blizzard or have a holiday. Yeah or have holiday magic either. <laughs> we could go up and carefully dismantle it. Leo, the Martins beat the Lemmings. Come on, if we don't show up, they'll count it as our defeat. But what about Blizzard? And what about the snow magic? Is holiday canceled? <sighs> All right, Leo. Let's, you know, save the holiday. Hooray! 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 Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's amazingly huge. Oh! Was the strike of a true champion. Well done, Leo. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, children. You've saved the holiday. You know, I never thought I would say it, but I gotta say, you've played really awesome. Great job. Congratulations to you, Leo and Tig. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he being so nice? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, let's have our celebration. Lost inspiration. Ready? Yeah, I was born ready. Go for it. Who 
Okay, guys. Watch and learn. Ha! Huh. Oh. Well, want to give it another try? Nah, I'm so bored. How about we play some tag instead? No, thank you. We play tag every day. Ugh. Well, then, maybe go to the river? Why, I don't mind. There are such beautiful water lilies there. The river again? Like we haven't done that a billion times already. Ah, <sighs> boring. Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration! Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration! Breaking news! Breaking news! Stork Did you Theodore hear? Has lost his inspiration. Theodore has lost his, uh, inspiration. <sighs> yeah, so? What do you mean? You said it yourself, boring. Here's our chance for some adventure. We'll help Theodore find this thing, Inspur. Oh, yeah? You're right. Come on, let's go. Leo! By the way, what is inspiration? Well, ta ta ta, ta 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 ta. <laughs> ta ta ta, ta 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 ta. The sun peaked from the clouds. Like a star among the crowds. Oh no, that's no good. Hello, Theodore. We heard that you lost your uh, the thing that what's it called, huh? Ta 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 ta. How about we help you find it again? Could you tell us what it looks like? This thing we're looking for. The inspiration. Oh, it's so luminous. It's so, so magnificent. It, it's like uh, uh. Like a flower. Like. Uh, 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 true. Uh, inspiration livens up everything, even the most commonplace trees. You can see how they breathe. Oh! Wow! Oh, wow! I think I found it! Found what? That thing, you know. Ta ta ta! Ta ta ta! Let me have a look. Hmm. Hmm. Well, indeed, this magical stone is very similar to inspiration. Uh -huh. This is the one you call inspiration. This stone is truly magical. A magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! A magical stone! Leo! What is this magical stone. stone? It is so shiny, so beautiful. Hmm, beautiful and shiny? I like the sound of that. The magical stone must be mine. Hmm. Ta 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 ta. Oh, very good. <laughs> That's our Theodore. Be quiet. Theodore has to know something. <clears throat> and now I will sing for you my new song. Uh, it's, to be honest, it's not exactly ready yet, but still. <laughs> <laughs> and now... Help, help, help me. You hear that? Someone's calling for help. Let's get moving. Go, go. The magical stone! <laughs> Spotty and Stripe are coming back here. Let's run! Hmm, that's strange. No one was there. <gasps> Who cried for help? Hold on! Where's the stone? It was right there! <gasps> Martins! They've stolen our stone! <gasps> Such cunning trickery! I just can't believe it! In a world where this is possible, there's no place for inspiration. I'm sorry. I have to be alone. I guess he must be very upset. Tell me about it. Once again, he lost his ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta. The magic stone was stolen. You know what? 
we're gonna get the stone back. <laughs> Good idea. Then inspiration will come back to Theodore. Let's go. <laughs> 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 Give me the stone! We're the ones who found it! Is that right? Finders Weepers loses Keepers. Oops, no wait. Finders Keepers loses Weepers. But isn't that right? Sounds about right! <laughs> and you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> Give us a stone! Not gonna happen! Let's roll! Go ahead, yes, get a stone! <laughs> Stop! Please! <laughs> I think we lost them. Ha-ha! You're busted! Give me the stone! No! It's mine now! Marcus, let's go! <laughs> Give back our stone! Not a chance! <laughs> Breaking news! Breaking news! Magpie has rescued the magical stone! Breaking news! Breaking news! Breaking news. can't catch Magpie for sure. But what are we going to say to Theodore? Well, you see, all in all, the stone was almost in our hands. But then we lost it. You mean, that is to say, you did all of this for me? Yes. Yes, because we wanted to give you back your, your da-da-da-da-da, Inspiration! We tried our very, very best. We really did. Will you forgive us, Theodore? Forgive you? But for what? This is the most inspirational thing I've ever heard. Nobody's done ever anything like this for me. You are my inspiration. And the stone? <laughs> it's just a stone. Really? Sure. You know what? I think my song just might be ready now. Here, listen to it. As the clouds depart the sky, inspiration makes us fly. As the clouds depart the sky, on your friends you can rely. <laughs> Let the sun shine upon friendship. <laughs> to the sun will wave hello. We're all friends, don't you know? Whatever happens, rain or shine, when together we'll be fine. at all this magic oh, 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 oh. with such friends nothing is tragic oh, 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 oh. round and round sun bunnies dancing oh, 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 oh. happy days they are enhancing oh, Friends, nothing is tragic. Round and round, somebody's dancing. Happy days, they are enhancing. Keep looking. The stone has to be there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, uh -huh. I got it! Mommy! Help! Breaking news! Magpie saved the magical stone from the thieves! Have a look at all this magic. With 
such friends, nothing is tragic. Round and round, some bunnies dancing. Happy days, they are enhancing. Guys, watch this. I got this. I am going to hit it on the first try. <laughs> you missed. It's all it's all because of the wind. <laughs> sure, the wind. <laughs> well, let me give that another shot. <laughs> Something always gets in Tig's way. A foundling. Huh? Look at what I found. It was there in the sand. Oh, an egg. I wonder who it belongs to. And, oh, I wonder who's going to pop out of it or, or what's going to pop out of it. For something to pop out of it, one of us will have to sit on it first. So, Tig, go ahead. <laughs> sit down. Uh, why do I have to do it? Because you, my friend, are the most fluffy and the most pillowy. Curious. Do you think it could be a duck? <gasps> Maybe a stork. I heard that snakes also hatch from eggs. No! What in the? The snake bit me! Relax, will ya? It's just a little turtle. <gasps> Look how cute it is. <gasps> He's so precious. <laughs> Tig can't tell a baby turtle from a snake. <laughs> oh, come on, Leo. I was just kidding a bit. Scared you, didn't I? <gasps> Ooh, a meal! <gasps> Hey, guys! Look over here! Our little turtle glued his fingers together. Maybe he's a little weird? I got it. That must be why the other turtles ditched him. Oh, poor baby. We'll take really good care of you. Isn't that right, boys? Of course we will. Know what? I'm going to make a true tiger out of him. Why, a tiger, huh? He could become a great leopard. Ooh, I will call you a little baby T. <sighs> Remember, baby T, tiger is the tiger's king. <laughs> we got a king. Don't interrupt, Leo. T. Do you know why everyone is afraid of tigers? Because they are really, really super fierce. Roar! Make sense? Well, now you try. Come on, louder, like this. Roar! Enough, now it's my turn. Bear in mind, Baby T, that an ambush is the best way to overcome an enemy. We leopards are experts at this. <laughs> well, that's not quite like a leopard, <laughs> but it's a good start. And who's that little precious angel in the bathtub, huh? <laughs> it's you, my little cutie patootie. Okay, Baby T, your mission right now is to catch this dragonfly. 
And we tigers call this thing hunting. Now go! Alright, Tig. I think it's my turn to train little T now. No way! Because he's still not a real tiger yet. But he won't be. Because baby T will grow up to become the bravest leopard. Tiger, leopard, guys! Does it really even matter? He's just a baby! Oh, guys, guys! Wh wh where is T? Yoo-hoo! Little guy! Hello! T! Where are you? Baby T! Come out! Say something! We're here! Nope, we'll never find him like this. We gotta split up. Tig, you go left. And Mila, you go right. I'll go straight ahead. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Baby T! <laughs> Where are you? Oh, Mila. Where are you going in such a hurry? Mm. Oh, Mappa Pandiga. Hello, sir. We can't find our little baby T anywhere. Where's little T? What do you mean? Baby T. You know, the little turtle? He has these special sort of little feet, as if they're glued together. Nope. I haven't seen him. Also, what would a turtle with glued feet, as you say, be doing in the forest? Turtles live elsewhere. No way. But where? Well, let me tell you. A long while ago, all turtles used to live ashore. But one fateful day, spring came about and brought along high waters. One of the islands on the river became completely covered in water. Then the oldest and wisest turtle turned to the river and asked it to have pity on them and teach her children and grandchildren how to swim. The river was deeply moved by her plea and gave all turtles webbed feet. But they still lay their eggs ashore, so that before going into water, the little ones could get a chance to know where they came from, land, their first home. It is a memory they will cherish for the rest of their lives. And when a baby turtle comes into the world, it is guided to the water by the soul of that very wise turtle. So that means that T is a water dweller. Yoo-hoo! T! Where are you? Say something! Ugh, there's no sign of him. Guys, guys, listen up! It turns out that T is a water dweller. What? A water dweller? If that's true, then that must mean he... Yes! He's at the river! <gasps> but guys, the vulture! <laughs> My lunch order's here! With an extra crispy tortilla shell! <laughs> oh! Hey, you! Back off our little baby tea! Could you say that again? Didn't catch that! Keep your filthy beak off baby tea! <laughs> I'm so honored to have guests for dinner! <gasps> Fine! You're junk food anyway! 
Just know that I like to come back for seconds. <laughs> Hooray! Yeah! Well done, baby T. <laughs> That's my student. Uh, no way. I taught him. <laughs> no, we taught him together. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's her! It's the wise turtle! Goodbye! Swim, T. This is your family. And, well, I wanted to say, you are one awesome tiger. And a brave leopard! T, don't forget to ride! Off with the feathered ones. Shorty! Go see what all the buzz is about. You stop your chittering right away. We can't get no sleep. Shoot, shoot. Pipe down, you hear me? Who's flopping their trap this early in the morning? We did, did it. it. Quiet. Stop yapping. Hey, you. Seems to me like it's you who's yapping here. And the birds are singing. No one can sing this nice in the whole forest. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Shoe feather freaks get moving. Your presence here with disapproving. Messing with my sleep, boo. Well, I say shoe. Sing now, birdie, sing the song. Sing about the thing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Shoe feathered one shoe. This is our forest, not yours. You disturb our sleep, so once again, shoo! Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. This is our forest, ours only. Feathered ones need to go! Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you sing? Sing and whistle, do a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest flowers <laughs> need to hear just how lovely you can sing. This is our forest, not yours! You disturb our sleep, so shoo now! This forest is not all yours, so stop being so bossy! Leave our feathered neighbors alone! Well, how about this, huh? And this! What are you doing? Stop it right now! <laughs> I'm the boss around here, you all got that? Is that right? Well, you're not the boss of me! Yeah? <laughs> we run this forest. You all got that? I don't think so. Uh -oh. Come on, you all got nothing on us. <laughs> Take this, you striped wool sack. What? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Wait, I have no time for you right now. Leo, check your six. Watch out. Ooh. Oh, stop it. Cut it out right now. Stop leaving. The birds are leaving. Can we have a time out? <laughs> What's this? You give up? Now you know who's the boss around here. Not you. You just wait and see. Everyone, get back to the base. It's time to draw up our battle plan. And Yara, you wait over here. Mila, you run over here and draw them into a trap. 
going to have to stay in here forever? Why forever? In winter, the squeaky mosquitoes go to sleep. Mappa Pandiga, what sort of squeakers are these anyway? And what are these mosquitoes? Good oh boy. My great-grandfather told this story to my grandfather. One day, the spirit of the tiger's own brother, Amber, was visiting him. But Amber was so evil that the animals of the tiger didn't want anything to do with him. It made Amber very angry, so he made up his mind to punish the animals. He summoned swarms of mosquitoes, squeaky mosquitoes, for animals had nowhere to hide. They went to complain to the kind spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger asked Tiger to deal with the mosquitoes. <laughs> tiger couldn't do a thing. The squeaky mosquitoes were too small and too fast. Then the spirit of the tiger sent leopard to fight them. Whoa. And then wolf. But they returned empty-handed. Then a little birdie flew to him and said, can I try? The spirit of the tiger agreed. You can, my friend. The birdie unleashed a mellifluous song, summoning the birds. Answering the boisterous call, the birds filled the sky, their wings flapped with vigor, and their beaks snapped with thunderous might. Not a day passed when the mosquitoes disappeared. The squeaking mosquitoes were gone. I know what we need to do. We gotta get all those birds back to the forest. I just don't know how we're gonna do it. We hurt them really bad. So that explains why there's so many mosquitoes in the tiger. <gasps> okay, what did you guys do to the birds? Well, we first tried to defend them from the martins. We really stuck it to them and made things much worse. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> 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 The spirit of the tiger, come to us. Oh, come to us, spirit of the tiger, and help us. Help us lest the tiger dry up and become a desert. Go on, go on. Oh, the great spirit of the taiga, please help us to bring back the birds to our forest. We'll always treat them well and never harm them. And we will protect them with our lives. And I beg you, the great spirit of the taiga, please, please. I miss hearing them sing so much. We will cherish each one of them. We'll never take them for granted. Ha, ha, ha. 
I get it now. It all makes sense now. The mosquitoes are scared of the birds. Build your nests. Go on, build them. The best spots are right here, next to our home, our hollow. Here, here, and over here. Sing now, birdies, sing this song. Sing out loud, let's sing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you see? Little feet. And then the fox started chasing the little hare away. <laughs> Leo, check it out. The fox. Just like a real one. Oh, Mila, seriously. Tig, don't interrupt. Mila, go on. Come on, show us what happened next. But the little hare <laughs> didn't get scared of the fox. <laughs> Look at that hare. He didn't get scared. <laughs> what a big hero. Monster! Run! Run! Oh, uh, hey, Mila, is this also part of your performance? No. Hurry! Hey, careful! Oh, my Mica! Ah, you lot running! Not watching your steps. Elsa! Thank you. So what happened exactly? Elsa! Elsa's coming! Oh, that's Elsa! He is so enormous! He's a hero! He saved our little boy! Yay! What now? A hero? Hero! When? Hero! He's hero. safe! So what now? I'm a hero? <laughs> you hear that, Leo? I'm apparently a hero! <laughs> sure you are, Tig! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Come to her. What is this? Oh, your wiseness! It's the first heroic deed! Oh, hero! You saved our beloved little boy. And that's why we'd like to invite you to a feast in your honor. Feast in my honor? This is so awesome. I'm a hero. Hero, hero. Tig, hero. you can't be serious. Sure I'm serious. Just watch me. Come on, guys. Come to my feast tonight. Praise the hero. Hey, you need to be more careful carrying me. Don't let the hero fall, right? Oh, hero, take the courageous. Are you quite happy staying with us? Uh-huh. It's a pity Leo can't see me right now. He would never believe this. <laughs> My picture? Awesome! Now I have something to show Leo at the feast. Careful! Oh, oh. Hey! Help me! Oh, oh. Huh? Made it. That was a close one. Praise the hero! Oh, Praise come on, hero. it's nothing. Praise Seriously. The second deed! The second deed! Hero. Oh, your royal highness! It's the second heroic deed! Take this! Get out of here! The third deed! It's the third deed! Praise the hero! <laughs> That's Praise right! The hero. It's so much fun Praise being a hero! hero. Praise, Praise the hero! hero. Oh, great hero Tig! <laughs> the legend's telling the truth! You came back to us again. The legend? Huh. <laughs> what kind of legend? An ancient legend. It happened a long, long time ago. <gasps> Weak and small was the Lemming tribe, afraid of everything. 
Anyone could hurt us. But most of all, our tribe was afraid of the forest monster. Every year, the monster would come to our pantry and plunder it. The lemmings then started to pray. Oh, great spirit of Tiger, we are small and need your protection. The spirit of Tiger heard them and promised to send down a hero. But the lemmings didn't recognize him right away. Only after he performed three heroic deeds, they realized he was the hero. The lemmings lowered their heads before the hero and told him about their troubles. The hero then went out and made the forest monster go away. That's awesome! What happened then? And then the hero left. But he said that if the forest monster would ever start bullying the tribe again, he will come back and we will recognize him by three heroic deeds. And now he's here. Yeah? So is he. <laughs> it's you, oh great hero. Praise the hero! And now, when you are here, you will chase away the scary forest monster. Praise the hero! Heh, <laughs> not a problem. So who's your monster, then? A uh, chipmunk or something? <laughs> chipmunk? <laughs> no, it's actually a little bigger. Actually, I'm talking about Bilza. Bilza? <laughs> Bilza. You know what? I'm... I'm not ready to be a hero. I'm not hero material, really. I think you should find someone else, okay? Lemmings, the hero has to perform a heroic deed! Hero! 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 Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! Praise the hero! Praise I don't want to be your hero! hero. Let me out of here, you hear me? I need to go home now! Praise the hero! I mean, I'll be back in the evening in time for heroism. Come over here. I saved your life. It's your turn to help me. Go find my friends. Please? Okay. <laughs> Cuba! <laughs> you missed! <laughs> There's Tig! Tig! And um, they put him in a cage! Uh, uh, oh. Hey, wait a minute! Did you just say cage? Go back and start from the beginning! Hero! 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 Why did I decide to become a hero? hero, hero I could be at home right hero, now with Leo! Hero, 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 hero. Let me the time of heroism has come! Leo, my friend, where are you? Hero, do you feel that you're ready to fight the forest monster? No, the hero's ready! <laughs> Good luck, hero. We believe in you! some kind of agreement? Okay, this is the end. Tig, don't be scared. I'm here. Leo, buddy, oh, you're here. You here to save me? Yes, Tig, I have a plan. Leo, are you trying to blind him? Is that your plan? Patience, Tig. The performance is only getting started. Leo, a monster! Oh, this is it! Goodbye, my friend. Praise the hero! Praise but, uh, the hero! 
It wasn't me. Where did it go? The scary monster. <laughs> Here's your scary monster, Tig. <laughs> wow, guys, that was something. What a great idea you came up with. Even Bielsa got scared of you. It's you who deserve to be called heroes. Oh, greatest of heroes. Oh, no, we're not your heroes. We were simply saving Tig. He's our friend. And the thing we used to scare away Bielsa is Micah. Oh, in that case, in that case, let's have a feast to honor Micah. And friends! And friends! Ha, the Micah and Friends Day. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> oh, your wiseness. Leo, I did perform three heroic deeds. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh, Tig, you're hopeless. <laughs> Little Blizzy. Mama Pantiga put me in charge of collecting cones! Oh, back. No! Let's go! Martins! Whoa. Target detected! The spotted one... and the striped one! Get your best cones ready! And shoot! <laughs> Thank you, Spike! Now we have enough food supplies for the whole winter. Let's go to Mappa. Oh, he'll be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> what now? <laughs> he says enough food supplies for the whole winter. <laughs> Whatever. Spike, just to be clear, when are we going to start stocking up on food? We are not. Martins never stock up on food. Martins use their brains instead. Ah, <laughs> good job. Well done. It's great to see how many cedar nuts you brought us. In the taiga, food stock is the most crucial thing. Without it, you can't survive winter. When the blizzard comes, you will all be grateful to me. Where will it come from? Yeah. Where does the blizzard come from? Where is her home? Mappa Pandiga, tell us, please, where does the blizzard live? There's not much to tell, really. The blizzard lives in her icy castle on the top of the highest mountain, where snow doesn't melt all year long. And when the winter comes, she goes down into the taiga. And then... Be careful not to make her angry. If the blizzard gets angry, bad things are coming. She will freeze everyone and turn everyone into ice. No one will be spared, neither animals, nor birds, nor trees. They say once the entire taiga almost died because of its icy breath. Chilly. What if that's the blizzard getting angry? The... the blizzard? Angry? That's just a fairy tale, right, Mappa Pendiga? Maybe it's a fairy tale, or maybe it's not. Leo, where are we going? We have to find the blizzard and find out what made her so angry. Look, there is no blizzard. You heard, Mappa. It's just a fairy tale. <gasps> Did you hear that? That's her. The blizzard. Hide now! Girl? 
Quickly, quickly, hide the food stock before the blizzard manages to find it. Go ahead, hide them. <laughs> They're gonna be ours anyway. We just need to come up with a plan. Come on, Spike. Think. Mappa Pandiga! Mappa Pandiga! We know why the blizzard is upset and angry! It's because she lost her only daughter, Blizzy. We need to find her. Then the blizzard will stop being angry, and the taiga won't freeze. Ah, good idea. Okay, so the blizzard lost her only daughter. <laughs> Very interesting. I think I've come up with a plan. They're gonna give us all their stock themselves. Follow me! Someone wants to find you so badly, they will give up everything, even their food stock for the winter. I want my mommy. Spike, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> You're supposed to watch the Blizzy. Don't let her out of your sight. <laughs> what is she doing? I don't know. Probably just wants to play a bit. Look here. No, stop. Huh? Yeah. give you the blizzy, and in exchange, you give us all the food you've stocked for the winter, and everyone's happy. So, how do you like my plan? How do you like my plan? Have a taste of this. Wait now, Tig. We need to get Blizzy back whatever it takes, or else the taiga might come to an end. What about her stock? We'll have to find more then. Spike? We take the deal. That's good. This is my kind of conversation. I've always been saying, you just need to use your brain. Spike, the blizzy <laughs> fell into a cave. What? So what? A little more, and the whole taiga will be frozen. We need to get Blizzy back right now. Here. This is where she fell through. We'll have to follow her down there. Down there? Into the icy labyrinth? No! The icy labyrinth? Leo, we're not going in there, right? I will go. Oh, no way, Leo. Uh, okay, I'll go too. I'm just gonna get some cones first, because there are, you know, all kinds of bats and also spiders. <laughs> Boy, do I hate all these labyrinths. Lizzie! Hello? I think... We should go right. Let's go right if you say so. Blizzy! Another dead end. There's no way we'll be able to find her. And even if we do, we won't make it out of here. Get up, Tig. We have to move. Uh, where on earth did those two go? <sighs> See, Shorty? It's all because of you. Why is it always me? She started it. <laughs> And who is that? Oh, Leo, look here. It's a cedar nut. So it means we've already been here before. A cedar nut? Wow! Tig, you're a genius! Me? Well, I mean, thank you. Okay, give me the cone. It will help us not to get lost. All right. So we can use the little nuts to mark our trail. I come up with the best ideas. <laughs> Tig, this way! We found her! <laughs> mommy! Where's my mommy? Hey, don't cry! You want your mom? Let's go! We know the right way!
My baby girl, you're back. Thank you. Hey, look! The frost is thawing! The blizzard isn't angry anymore! Yeah, we did a good job. Hmm. <laughs> there. Now we are definitely ready for winter. Look at that! Use your brain! <laughs> <laughs>